Hello everyone, welcome to another episode of Pyathlon. In today's video, I'll be showing you how you can register a custom domain name and then route that to your statically hosted website in Amazon S3. But before we do this, I need to remind you that the name of your bucket in S3 needs to match the domain name that you purchase. So if the domain you purchase is www.example.com, then the name of your S3 bucket should be www.example.com. But once you have your bucket configured and it's set up to statically host your website and you can visit that link and it works fine, then you can start here. If you don't have that set up, then we actually have a video on our channel where we show you how you can create a statically hosted website in Amazon S3. So I would recommend that you go back and watch that video and then come back here. So the first thing you'll need to do is check out if your domain name is actually available. And that's really simple. You can, under this register domain in your Route 53 dashboard, you can just go to services and then click Route 53 or see it in your recently visited section. And you're just gonna type in the name of the domain you want. So if you wanna buy example.com, you can just type in example.com and click check. Then it might take a couple of seconds to actually load, but once it does load, it'll tell you whether or not what you typed in is available and it'll suggest some other domain names that will recommend you purchase that are similar to what you typed in. And over here, you can look at .com or any other extension on the end that you want on your domain, you can look at those. So if you want something other than .com, that might be available if .com isn't. But let's go back to the Route 53 console. And this might take a second to load, of course. All right, so once you're here, the first thing we're going to do is we have to go to hosted zones. And then once this finishes loading, you'll actually see the domain name that you purchased. So click that. And we're going to create a record. Now, your screen might not look like this, and you might see a switch to wizard button over here. So if you click that switch to wizard button, your screen will look the same as mine. And we're going to do a simple routing policy. And we're going to define a simple record. And we're just going to leave this top field blank. We're going to use an A record, which routes traffic to an IPv4 address and some AWS resources. And we have to determine the endpoint. What do we want to route traffic to? And we want to route it to a statically hosted website in S3. So you can just come down here and click alias to S3 website endpoint and click that. In the region, select whatever region your website is in, then choose S3 bucket. And then you'll actually see your bucket pop up and click that. And then we can click define simple record. Actually, before we do that, for evaluate target help, if you want to do that, then you can leave this check. Otherwise, you can turn that to no. And then click define simple record. And now if you actually visit your domain name, you'll actually see the website that you have statically hosted in Amazon S3. So thanks for watching. Please like, comment, and subscribe. If you subscribe, then please comment, I subscribe, and I will try to heart your comment or respond to it. You can also make video requests in the comments, and I'll try to make that video and let you know when I did. So please do that. And also, be sure to like us on Instagram and Twitter at Piathlon, and be sure to visit Piathlon.com where you can see the four courses we have currently in Python game development and we have one in Python Basics. So thanks for watching, and I'll see you in the next video.